Barbie with Jeannie's Designs, and I'm getting ready to do a free pattern, and I'm going to do it a little different than the pattern itself. I have, for some reason, I've collected quite the stock of jelly. So I'm going to use this gray floral, funky floral jelly, some clear vinyl, and some black jelly. Um, so I'll link the pattern. It's by it's a pattern by Sewing Times, um, but it's two pieces of this for the bottom, two pieces of clear vinyl for the top. There is a gusset to it, which is the black, and then there is a zipper gusset, which is, I'm gonna use this. Then I'm gonna use uh, just some black, uh, this isn't even seatbelt webbing, this is webbing I've had. I don't, I'm, just, I'm guessing it'll work, So and that, and then I'm gonna use some rainbow zipper tape, number five. And then I'm gonna use a couple uh, little baby groots. Mm -hmm. I've been hoarding these and I said it's time to use them. So rainbow. So that's all there is to it. Yeah, I probably will. I gotta decide once I get it closer to in construction whether I'm going to put some binding on it. There's no lining, so um, I don't know that it needs binding, but I may. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I rounded my corners. And in her description, she has you rounded about two and a half. So I'm using this new template I got, and it's got a two and a half corner. So I did those, and now I'm just gonna do my clear vinyl because you round the corners on the top and the bottom. Love it. So you do that on both your bottom pieces and both your top pieces. So this will end up being the top. So just like that. I love it. This is by Annie Clear Vinyl. And I really, <sighs> I really like it. All right, so now we are going to, I'm gonna take my paper off here. So it's clear any vinyl and it just is clear. And I am gonna put these right sides together, although, you know, for the clear vinyl, there really isn't a right or wrong side, which is actually a very beautiful thing. Um, and then I'm going to do a, let's see, just a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm using a uh, rainbow tape. I mean, rainbow tape. Oh gosh. Rainbow uh, thread. Let me, um, let me check something. Hold on. All right. I was wrong on the, uh allowance. That's what I was double checking. Then I am going to, um, trying to decide, because I'm doing it different than she does, whether I just top stitch these open, I think I'm going to, yeah, I think I will. I'm going to top stitch on the bottom. And 
had the Chiefs game on over here. It's been an ugly, ugly game so far, I will say. We're winning, but it's been an ugly game. All right, so then I'm gonna top stitch the clear too. It's decorative, so. Because of the rainbow thread. Yeah. You're gonna see the raw edges, but that's okay. I mean, this is a, this is a toiletry bag. Actually, it could be anything you want it to be. But. Okay. Oh my, I'm liking it so far. And my machine has no issues with that clear vinyl so far. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, let's do the other side. Right sides together. And the one thing that you do want to do when you're not going to line a bag, you just want to keep your um, threads clipped and burned because people you'll see them. But not that it's a big deal, but if you keep them clipped as you go, then it's not a big of a deal. All right, let's turn these over and top stitch. There's not much to this bag. You wouldn't necessarily have to trim your threads. You could just turn it and go down the other way if you wanted to. Either way is absolutely fine. So it takes me a little longer to sometimes to do these because I'm clipping and burning threads as I go. 
All right, let's get a tag. Let's get a tag that says, uh, it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Yep, that one is perfect. <clears throat> and I will center that. Let's see. I'm going to center it on the bottom. I should probably center my piece. Hold on. And I didn't put a triangle, I just put a tiny little snip. I haven't made this before, so we'll see how it does. I'm just going to go up right in the middle there. <laughs> I love it. And let's just do a little two and a half inch stitch length on our tag. And I'll pull those to the back. gotten in the habit of uh, not pulling that first thread to the back until I pull both of them. That way I don't have to worry about not holding on to them. Um, either way is absolutely fine, honestly. I personally think it's easier to do it this way. Because sometimes you lose track of the thread. And I will just do two knots here and then I will burn it. And you will see that, but I mean, who's going to look at that? Okay. All right, next step. All right, my handles, I made 16 inches. She called for some other uh, measurement, but I just made mine 16. And then I'm just pressing in the middle here and marking it so I know where my middle is. And then on each side of that, um, two inches over is where I'm gonna put my handle and make sure it's not twisted. Okay, and then we are going to just baste, I am going to baste those in place. And I'm going to try and be as neat as I can. Uh, on all four. 
Again, I'm taking, you know, a, probably a little extra time to clip these threads and burn them as tight as I, tight as I can. Okay. Cute. Do that with this one. Next step. All right, so we're gonna do our zipper gusset, just like any other zipper gusset. My zipper is just a hair too long, but I'm gonna do a quarter inch and then I am gonna turn it. Oh, I've got my stitch length at two and a half. I'll turn it and top stitch it, is what I was gonna say. put one zipper pull. I realize it's a pretty small bag, so one should be more than enough. I'm just gonna flip that and top stitch with that seam going behind. The only difference here is there's nothing to baste this back together with. So it's just doing a top stitch. This is, uh, this funky floral is uh, Jelly Vinyl from Lauren Marmino. And uh, it's so beautiful, it really does. I have had it for quite a while and I haven't used it. I wouldn't say quite a while, probably a month or two. You know, some of the TPU, I was gonna use some, um, for the top clear, I was gonna use some, um, star TPU that I had, but it's old TPU and it's very stiff. I don't remember where I got it. But it's it's the, the TPU that is not as, flexible as the TPU that people are have today. Okay. Okay, so. Yeah. 
again, just a quarter inch basting stitch. And I got my zipper pulled there. I'm just going to keep track of it. And then I'll turn it over in top six, just like I did the other side. I'm just trying to make sure that my seam is underneath this, otherwise it's not going to look right. Just up my own. So I'll uh, add my bottom gussets. Let me cut off my zipper extra here. Okay, and just right sides together. Of course, this black I don't think there really is a right or wrong side. Let me see. And I'm going to check the seam allowance because this will be important to make sure it's accurate. So let me check that. All right. And mine doesn't match, and that's okay. I will just trim that up. That's not unusual at all, actually. Okay, let's do this side. Now, I don't know if she says to top stitch this, but I am going to. I'm gonna turn it and top stitch it by on top of the zipper. The seam allowance going to the bottom.
Again, a little burning here. And I'm gonna just trim that zipper tape just so it's even, because that's gonna be seen. Okay. So there's that top stitch, and I'll do the same thing over here. Just make sure you don't catch anything that shouldn't be in there. <laughs> I wouldn't be so careful with all my little um, thread ends. This this bag would take like no time at all. Okay, you see how um, my zipper gusset is bigger? I am just gonna take a minute to even that out because it shouldn't be that dramatic and all I'm really doing I'm not doing the whole zipper gasset I'm just even even evening it up on the side and just tapering it in you could do the whole thing if you wanted to though Oh my gosh, look at this. This is going to be so cute. All right, now we need to find our centers. Just like any other zipper gusset. I'm going to clip my seams together here. And I am going to just barely snip. I'm not going to put a little triangle because that would be seen. Just a tiny little snip. Same thing on the bottom here. A little less than an eighth of an inch snip. watching the game sorry all right so let's find our center on the bottom and I didn't center this one so let me set I did the other one but I didn't do this one and right side up turn your gusset wrong side up and you're gonna add your centers here. On the bottom. And then I already had my center marked up there, so I'm just going to pull my center here. And then these should actually match, I think, yeah, where your zipper gusset is and your um, base. 
of your panel. Now the challenge will be I'm I won't I'm not gonna be able to clip these corners, I don't think. I suppose I could. I'm gonna have to think on this a minute because this is all gonna be seen and those corners would be, if I clip the corners on the gusset, it would be seen, but you know, it's not the end of the world. So let me think on it here. Hmm. Let me think on it. Hold on. Okay. For the bottom, I did do a little snipping. And I'm going to do that up here. I mean, I'm barely snipping. It's probably about an eighth of an inch. But it does help. So I am doing it. We'll see. I don't think this will tear. It's all you need. Just a few. I probably put four little snips in there. Yeah. That's all you need. And you do have a decent seam allowance. She does tell you to use a, a 3 8 inch seam allowance. So. I will link her pattern. She has a video too. So I will link all that in the description just to give her credit, obviously. This one? Is a tiny bit of a pucker. I'm not sure why this one is a little more challenging. There we go. That's better. Okay. Let's do it. Start at the bottom. And let me verify my seam allowance. I'm pretty sure it's. Three. All right, let's do it. I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm just going to go slow. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> it's so funny. The machine makes a funny noise on uh, jelly and clear NTPU. I'm watching the Chiefs game as I'm saying. Mm. Touch and go. Touch and go. Mm. 
You can go over those handles a couple times if you want to. I don't think it needs it. And I would caution you to go over it too many times because you're gonna make a lot of holes in the vinyl. And you don't need any extra holes in the vinyl. But if you feel comfortable doing it, then certainly do it. Almost around. Take the time to clean this up as we do it. All right, let's see. Oh my. That looks pretty good. I may go around this corner one more time. I'm gonna go around the bottom corner one more time. Just really close to my current stitches. Let's see if I need to do it on the other side. I don't think so. There was a little uh, stitch that was showing on this side that still is. I'm not sure why, but it'll be fine. Okay, now where's my other side? Okay, bottom. Match up your uh, centers. I'm going to match my top centers. I can find my little clip. And then do my sides. <laughs> oh, gosh. I love football, but it makes me so nervous to watch it. I love football. That's probably why it makes me so nervous. You know, we're big Chiefs fans. Big. And they're just not playing very well at all, honestly. I mean, at this very second, they're winning, but it's ugly. Ugly, ugly. Okay, I'm gonna proactively just clip my corners.
And then we're almost done. Like you do have a fairly decent seam allowance, so don't hesitate to clip your corners. I'm just doing little eighth inch clips on each corner. I've never done it on jelly vinyl, so I'm assuming it'll be okay. <coughs> oh, so sorry. Nice little uh, sneeze. Okay, let's see how it does. This is a very cute bag. I may actually try it with cotton or some kind of cotton canvas or quilting cotton, just like she does in the pattern because it's very cute. I'm going to have to go watch the game. You should see me during uh, playoff season with the Chiefs. I can't sit down. <laughs> and we have some friends from Kansas City that live here. So we always uh, typically get together for the Chiefs games, especially the playoffs. And it's like craziness, really. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see if there's a, a flag. I don't think so. Okay, I gotta go watch. Okay, okay choose on. one. Oh gosh, scary. All right, let's do this other side. And then we will. I'm, I will go around and clean this up because it's gonna. The seams are gonna be seen. What I'll do is, um, I don't think I'm gonna bind it. You could. This is a very cute pattern. Though.
Juice win. You needed that. Sorry, guys. You probably don't want any uh, football commentary while we're sewing. Can't help myself. Both of these jelly vinyls are a dream. So, uh, I mean, just a dream. I think I got the black from Wonderground Fabrics, if I remember correctly. Now, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to even these up. I am not, I'm not going to bind it. I'm just going to even my corners up and just on all my seams, make sure they're straight. And then we'll turn it right side out. I'm stuck. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> And both of these TPUs turn, I mean, they turn beautifully. They're not terribly hard to turn. Of course, this is a bigger bag. Some of your smaller bags with TPU can be hard to turn. I don't know. Now, you know, I'm just thinking I could, I maybe could top stitch this. I don't think so. Yeah, um, I don't know, I'm thinking out loud here, guys. No, I don't think it needs it.
just need to work with it a little to get it to pop out in the right places. <sighs> Very cute. It would be good to have two zipper pulls. Yeah, my first instinct on that was good. Look at that. All right, let me turn you around. Look at this. This is a free pattern by Sewing Times. I will link her in the description. And she has a video too. So in, in fairness to her, I will link her video as well. is adorable absolutely adorable and it's a beautiful thing mm -hmm. I'll go get some stuff and put in it hold on okay guys look at all that stuff I have in there I have and there's room for more and you can see you know I've got some Clinique some shampoo some lotion some conditioner, some, I use frizzies for my hair. I mean, there is room for more. I definitely would, even though it's a small bag, I would definitely put two zipper pulls on. I really kind of regret not doing that. It's fine without it, but yeah. Absolutely the cutest thing and not hard to make. I did it all out of clear vinyl, clear jelly, and I used no interfacing. So, go try one. I might do a live on it. I'll have to see. I'll let you know. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.